If you want to measure the distance to an object which is not that far, like objects we have here in the solar system, you can use the radar exactly as you do for airplanes. If you have a powerful radar, you can determine the distance to a close object like uh, the Moon or Venus or Mars or Jupiter. When you want to measure the distance to farther objects, you need to use geometric methods. The first one is the parallax. Uh, you can use parallax up to a certain distance, which we know is around few hundreds of parsecs. There is another technique which involves groups of stars. When you see groups of stars moving, you see they are going in exactly in the same direction. So if you can measure their velocity, you can obtain the distance knowing that they point toward the same point in the universe. With this technique you can only reach uh, a thousand uh, light years, so not even outside our nice Milky Way. If you want to go farther than this, the only method you have is to find a standard candle. This means you can only measure distance through the luminosity of that object. If you know how luminous it is, how bright it is, then you can tell how far it is. The dimmer it is, the farther it is. But this you can do if and only if you know what is the intrinsic luminosity of that object, namely you have to know how bright is the lighthouse you're looking at to tell how far it is. An easy way to obtain the luminosity of a star is to see the color. Red is dim and blue is bright. Another helpful category of stars is the variable stars. Variable stars are large stars close to their death. Uh, they just expand and collapse back without rest, continuously expanding and collapsing. And this expansion and collapse depends only on the luminosity of that star. So we just check the period of luminosity increasing then decreasing again and increasing and this period is related to the intrinsic luminosity of the star so these stars are also uh, standard candles the method for variable stars uh, works only for nearby galaxies if you want to get deeper in the sky, you need to use relations for the galaxies. One relation for the galaxies is the tully fischer relation. that tells us that as the luminosity increases, also the velocity of rotation of that galaxy increases as well. With this method, we can obtain the intrinsic luminosity of a whole galaxy. The farthest standard candle we can use are the uh, supernova type 1a. They are very bright and they are almost homogeneous in terms of light emitted. So when we see this supernova happening, more or less we can tell what is the distance to that object. After these 150 megaparsecs, which is the last limit for a supernova type 1a to be visible on Earth, we only have the Hubble law to tell what is the distance of a galaxy. Uh, the Hubble law relates the distance of a galaxy to its velocity. So it's very easy to determine uh, the relation between velocity and distance to that object. This is a linear relation. Basically, the farther a galaxy is, the faster it moves. Since most of the galaxies are moving away, uh, this means that we have to check for a redshift in some spectral line. 
The easiest spectral lines to be determined are the iron lines or the hydrogen lines. As you can imagine, the simplest explanation to the fact that all the galaxies are moving away is that the universe is expanding. Uh, this is not because we are the center of the universe, this is because everything is expanding and so the distance to each other with respect to the galaxies is increasing. Resuming, there are many techniques to obtain the distance to an object in cosmic scale. The main problem is to find an overlap between the techniques because each technique has its own distance scale. So you have to find a region in which you can cross correlate, cross check the two methods to find whether there is a clear and evident positive correlation, meaning that you are really measuring the distance to that 